Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we are playing Dungeon Alchemist which is a map making game that we got for free from Lurkit. So before we do anything guys we need to make the map a little bit bigger because currently we cannot build what we want here. I'm thinking about making some type of castle. It's probably not going to be anything special because I'm not really that great at these type of games but we're going to give it a good shot. delete the AI generated things in the building because I currently have AI generation on so it automatically places the items in each room for me. And what castle wouldn't be right without its drawbridge? So I'm just going to fast forward this bit. It's basically just me extending the land a tiny bit and adding a little bit of water around the castle because eventually I'm going to want to expand and I want to isolate the castle away from the village I plan on building later on. The terrain tool on this game is extremely well done. You can have water to lava to grass, rockeries, caves, everything to be fair. So before we start building anything, we're going to need to make a hallway all the way around the castle so we can make our way around. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to go around the whole of the outside of the castle and not focus on making corridors going through the centre just so I can have a bit more space for the rooms. Again guys, like I said, I've got AI generation on, so when I build rooms and corridors, it automatically places items in for me. So I don't need to place the windows, I don't need to place the benches or the torches either. So it saves me a lot of time. Honestly, I don't know what I was doing with them door frames. They look ugly and I'm probably going to remove them later on. Our first room in this castle is going to be a bedroom and we're probably going to make a second bedroom as well. So now that we actually made it a proper room, you can see the AI generation doing its thing and adding all of the items we need in the bedroom. So we don't need to focus on that. Thank you. 
So our next room is going to be a treasury. I really like the look of the treasuries. I think display wise, they look amazing. Uh, later on, I'll be in first person view and you'll be able to get a real look at it. But like I said, it looks amazing. And I really like the look of them. Our next room is going to be a throne room. What castle is really a castle without a throne room? Without a throne, you know, it has to be there. It's quite bare, to be honest. I'm going to get rid of these doors now, I think, because, like I said, they look ugly. But I like the pillars in the front room. I think it's a little bare still, though. Maybe I can add some chests later on. I'm getting a little lost around the menus right now. To be honest, there's a lot in this game and I haven't really learned that much yet on it. But I'm trying to look for a red floor. Kind of want to give myself VIP treatment towards the front. Next, we're going to make a kitchen because I love my food and, well, who doesn't, to be honest? Got to live like a king, you know? Now we're building a chapel. Personally, I think this is another room that is really bare. Could do with a lot more added items later on into the game. Right now, we're making a rookery and I'll be honest, I don't have a clue what this room is for i just like that it's got pillars i'm really loving pillars right now in this game probably the most important room in this castle is the dungeon the dungeon has a couple of torture devices and again it's got pillars and i'm really loving the pillars so just getting rid of the doors like i said multiple times they looked really ugly i thought they would have been better than they were but i was wrong so I'll just put some basic plain doors in. Speeding up another part, this bit is just me changing the colour of all the lights to purple. I really love the purple colour of the lights, the glow. It looks pretty nice to be fair. The normal colour looks alright if you turn the intensity up, but purple just gives it that kick. Now guys, we're going to go into first person mode. You can just place a character down anywhere on the map, go into first person mode and have a look. The water looks really nice, the bridge was a bit buggy there, but you'll notice there are a lot of small details when we walk around here. But I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the video and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.